Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel, Miriam Leonardo Tango. Very quick, today I'm going to be giving you leaders different ways to walk, different ways to position your foot, different ways to position your leg, all these to use in different styles. If you are ready, let's get to work. All right, here in the dance floor, we are going to start working in different type of styles and different type, um, type of walk that we have. I personally, there are several type of uh, ways to position our foot, but leaders, tell me which one you are using in the comments below. So number one, using your toes, not in a specific order that is more important. One is more important than the other. All are good. So pointing your toes first, Trumpeting, rolling from your toes down to your heel and soften your knees. Yes? And one, slide first, trumper, heel down, and then we proceed. I'm talking basically about the foot. Don't, don't worry about the hip, the torso yet. Just let's focus first on the foot, foot position. Again, one more time, toes. Slide first, if you notice, I'm sliding first, and then positioning the heel down, pointing the other one on the back, passing by ankles together, toes, sliding, heel, feet together. Many dancers will use this figure, this way to walk. I don't use it as often. I normally use this, this type of walking when I'm performing, I'm doing stage numbers. Why? Because I like the lines, how it goes like one June, it gives you more catwalk, better projection, longer steps. That's why I tend to use that when I'm doing a performance. At the Milonga, not so much. I will tell, I will say 10, 20% of the times that I'm dancing at the Milonga, I will use this. The rest 80%, I will use another one that I will show you in a second. So, this is the case number one. Are you using this one? I know a lot of professional dancers that will use this even at the Milonga, so it is a good option for you. I personally like the other one. So, why? So far, we were projecting, and I will talk a little bit about the knee now, the, the knee position. Took, did you notice that my knee is soft? In order to keep walking, one, this will give us the same level and walk. Always when we walk, we are keeping same level. One, that's why I soften my knees. One thing that I like to explain is that we have two types of springs in order to make our dance a little more cushion. One is in our knee, one is in our hip. So if I will not use the hip position, look, I'm using only my knees, which is good, yes? Another one, the other spring that I'm using, I will isolate this movement, so I'm locking the knee, just for the sake of the exercise. Look how I'm using the spring on my hip. Oh, do you notice that I, sorry, that I can switch the level without really bending the knee? I'm locking this knee so you can see it from here. I'm locking the front knee, and I can go up and down, up and down. So all this happened from the hip. I have the hip up, I displace the hip to the side. Took this little displacement will allow me to go up and down and make more cushion our dance. So that brings us to the second way of walking, which is not bending the knee and positioning your heel on the floor. Yep. So one, two, I will not use my knee. Again, I use this sometimes, not all the time, this type of walking, depending on the style as well. So I will walk, lock my knee and displace the hip. I will do it in front of you. Lock your knee, displace your hip, tuck. This will somehow will give you more groundness Yes, because your hip is very relaxed, and but at the same time keeps your body active. So I'm still up, 
boom. But you see my walking is very heavy, boom. It's very grounded, yes? I will do it one more time to the, from the side so you can see it and I will do this. Boom, 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 Yep, so I'm doing two things here. I'm locking my knees, which is not the healthiest option for your knee. I'm locking my knee and I'm sending all the work to my hip. The other thing that I'm doing is the positioning a little bit the heel down. If I will go with my toes, this will not work properly. Yep, or it may work, but it, won't, it will look a little bit different. So heel, I will position everything on top of my heel, all my body weight on top of my heel, and tuck, displace the hip. So all my torso drops on top of my hip, boom. <sighs> Boom. Yes, on top of my head. So that is another way of walking. So first one, projecting toes, projecting toes, bending knees when you transfer. Second one is heel locking your knees, heel uh, hips to the side. One, two. I'm locking my knees. One. These two are correct. Now. The one that I tend to use a little more. Quick stop here before we continue with the second part of this video. I would like to invite you to check out our website, miriamleonardotango.com, where we have a ton of videos for leaders, for followers, for couples, milonga, vals, you name it. So if you're serious about learning tango, definitely check that out. miriamleonardotango.com. And now, yes, let's get to the second part. The one that I tend to use a little more and I feel this is why. It makes me more grounded and it, it saves my knees, yes? So we want, as dancers, as a tango dancer especially, we really want to dance for a long, long, long time. So saving your knees is a very important role. So if I soften my knees, I'm working a little more with the quadriceps and it's easier than locking. Locking, you're going to start working in a, not natural way, I would say. Your knee, you're pushing it back. The tendons get crossed here. So it's not the healthiest. That's why I was mentioning it's not the healthiest. So I will do this. I will use 50% of my knee bending, 50% of my hip bending, and also a little bit of my heel. So I will go like this. One soft. Do you notice that I am putting soft knees soft hip, and then we continue. One, I will mark just for the line, the toes, but when I actually put weight, tuk, it's on the heel, soften your knees, soften your hip, and from here you continue. Let me do a long walk here, I will do this. And one, soft, one, soft, and one, soft, and one, soft and one soft. Did you notice the difference? So in the first one we were using mainly knees, not so much hips, a little bit. Second option we were using the, the hips, not the knees. And in the third option we were using hip, knees and heels. Yep. So all three are correct. Different instructors will tell you different things or are correct because in tango very few things are not correct, <laughs> yes? So it's about the styling, it's about style of your dance. So don't take anything as, no, this is wrong, this is right. Uh, the true tanguero should walk this way. No, we have different ways uh, for your personality, different ways of walking. Sometimes you may have issues, health issues. I don't know, you have a hip replacement and then you are going to be lacking. That way, when you lack your knee, your hip, you're going to end up using a little more your knees. So you have more options. You have, I don't know, you had a knee replacement. You will lack your knee, you are going to be cushioned on your knee, and you're going to use more your, more your hip. So that way you have long life in your dance. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. That will really, really, really help us to grow our channel, and we really appreciate that. We are very close to reach 15,000 subscribers. So thank you very much from the bottom of our heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.